Somebody who's changing your story on key core values, the core values of the majority of Texans, is unfit to serve as a conservative pro-lifer in the Texas House of Representatives. Debbie Riddle campaigns as pro-life, Debbie Riddle portrays herself as pro-life, but her actions in the Texas legislature speak louder than her words on the campaign trail. And we at Texas Right to Life can give you a first-hand account of her actions in the Capitol to derail pro-life bills. Precinct chairs and the SREC folks and people who have been involved in the Republican Party and conservative grassroots activism for years have called Texas Right to Life asking for the real story on what Debbie Riddle did in the legislature. After we explained to them our experience and what we witnessed, especially during this last legislative session, they were outraged that she no longer fully represents their pro-life views. Debbie Riddle used to be a leader for the pro-life movement. That has dramatically changed. Debbie now is a pawn for House leadership. Debbie no longer takes the hardline stance on life issues. She'll support the easy stuff that every Republican and even the pro-life Democrats are supporting, but she won't take the hard line. It's easy for Debbie to vote for the so-called anti-abortion bills. That's how she keeps her high score. But she has veered from the pro-life position on medical ethics issues, on funding issues, and even on protecting babies who are disabled. But now Debbie Riddle carries the water for House leadership. They rely on her to help kill the pro-life bills. In fact, during the last session of the Texas legislature, which was in 2015, Debbie personally killed the pro-life health insurance reform bill. You have Debbie Riddle to thank that your health insurance dollars still pay for abortion in Texas. Just one example of Debbie Riddle's hypocrisy is House Bill 416 a bill that she marketed as a pro-life bill. And yet, when that bill was on the House floor, she stood with pro-abortion Democrats. And when asked questions about the bill and restricting abortion, Debbie Riddle clearly said, this bill has nothing to do with abortion. She's running all over the state, celebrating this bill as a great pro-life victory. And sadly, the bill does nothing to protect pregnant women, to protect unborn children, and does even less to protect women who are being forced into abortion. She's dazed and confused. She changes her story, and that makes her unfit to lead. She's changing her story on the pro-life health insurance reform bill. She's changing her story on House Bill 416. She's changing her story on whether or not she supported House leadership. All of this back and forth. Somebody who's changing your story on key core values, the core values of the majority of Texans, is unfit to serve as a conservative pro-lifer in the Texas House of Representatives. We've known Valerie for years. She's been a volunteer with Texas Right to Life. She's been a strong activist. She's been a precinct chair. She's registered countless voters around Harris County to vote. So we know her conservative values and her pro-life principles to be unwavering and tried and true. After our PAC committee officially met with Valerie, we were proud to endorse her in our fully supporting Valerie Swanson in the race for Texas House District 150. 